Nard here and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're new. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Um, so you may, especially if you live in North America, have been hearing all about this solar eclipse business happening on April 8th. And you may be wondering, what the heck even is a solar eclipse? Why the heck is everybody freaking out about it? And how the heck do I participate if I want to participate? Is this something I want to participate in? I don't know. So today I'm going to be answering all of your questions you may have about the solar eclipse, telling you what it is, telling you how the heck you can get involved, and we're going to learn a lot of information and have a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and get started. First, let's start by talking about what a solar eclipse is. So to put it simply, a solar eclipse is when the moon, sun, and earth are all in alignment with one another along their orbital tracks. So this causes the moon to block out some of the light from the sun, and here on earth, we see it as darkness. We can't see the sunlight anymore because the moon is in its way. However, there are a diff couple of different types of solar eclipses, and I'm going to walk them through you, walk you through them, goodness, with the help of, you know, a goofy visual aid, because why not? <laughs> Welcome all to a fun demonstration of how solar eclipses occur, featuring my light as the sun, my dress form as the moon, and of course me as the earth. So let's go ahead and get started and rearrange these objects to show you the different types of solar eclipses that may occur. Of course this is a terrible angle to be viewing this at, so let us switch up that angle and start with a partial solar eclipse, where the sun, moon, and earth are not perfectly aligned, so the moon only partially blocks out the light from the sun, resulting in a partial solar eclipse. Then we have the annular solar eclipse, where the moon is super far away from the earth and such so much smaller than the sun, it only blocks out a part of the sun's light. Finally, we have that total solar Solar eclipse where the sun, moon, and earth are perfectly aligned, resulting in complete blockage of the sun by the moon. But of course, if you're just outside that zone of totality, you will see a partial solar eclipse. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Another round of applause to my dress form for helping teach us how solar eclipses work. So now that we know a little bit more about solar eclipses and the different types that occur, why is everybody freaking out about this one on April 8th? So the reason at least people in North America are freaking out is because there's going to be a zone of totality stretching across North America, across Canada, the United States, and Mexico. Um, and I think I may have said path or zone of totality like a little bit before, but that just means the area where the moon, earth, and sun are perfectly aligned to allow a total solar eclipse to happen. So if you happen to be in that path in Canada, North America, Canada, United States, or Mexico, you will see a total solar eclipse. If you are not quite in that path of totality, you will um, see a partial solar eclipse, which is still super cool to observe. Um, this is the first, this is the first, what is it? This is the first uh, boom, solar eclipse that will be visible in Canada since the 70s, the first one visible in Mexico since the 90s, and the first one visible in the United States since, the, uh, since 2017. And their next time there's supposed to be one visible in the contiguous United States is in like 2040 something. So this is a pretty rare event, um, and it's the first time in a very long time that they've all been like, that you can view the total solar eclipse in the United States, Canada, and Mexico all in the same day. So it's a pretty cool astronomical <laughs> event that is occurring on April 8th, and that is why everybody is so excited about it. <clears throat> so now you may be wondering, okay, I know what a solar eclipse is, I know why the heck everybody cares, and now I'm starting to care, how do I prepare or get information about it? So step one is you need to go, and there's plenty of resources for this, especially through NASA, go figure out where the solar eclipse is gonna be located to your area. If you're in the path of totality, definitely go observe it, although you'll definitely know when something is happening because it'll get dark outside during the middle of the day. If you are not in the path of totality but may be close enough to experience some of it, you should also go see it because even a partial solar eclipse is super cool. So if you go online and Google like, what will I see during the solar eclipse, there's plenty of maps that show where the path of totality is along with like how far away it is and how much of the solar eclipse you'll still see and what time the solar eclipse um, will be seen from your region. Um, so this is only for a span of a couple minutes during the day, so make sure you can be outside when that's going on. It's a super cool event to witness. I got to see the one happened in the United States in 2017 and it was really cool. And next you need to get the proper equipment. So get solar eclipse glasses if you haven't already. Uh, 
do not stare at the sun. It's never a good idea normally to stare at the sun, but it may be tempting to stare at the sun during a solar eclipse because it just seems a lot dimmer. No, it will still damage your eyes if you don't view it properly. So get specialized solar eclipse glasses. These are like thousands of times darker than your normal sunglasses. I repeat, do not wear your normal sunglasses and think it can be okay. Wear solar eclipse Wear solar eclipse goggles, glasses that have been specially approved and meet certain international standards for viewing a solar eclipse. The same goes for your phone or cameras if you're trying or telescopes or binoculars if you're trying to get an image or view the solar eclipse up close. All of these equipment need specialized lenses or specialized solar filters on them um, because one, if you like look through a solar eclipse through your binoculars or telescope or camera, you're still viewing it with your eyes you're still going to get burned and you're probably also going to damage some of the um, optics and electronics inside of your device as well and we don't want that and there are plenty of guys online that tell you equipment to buy for your camera or your telescope or your binoculars um there's even special solar filters for taking pictures with your phone um and make sure again you protect your eyes very very important we don't want anybody going blind out here in the name of science Okay, now we've learned what a solar eclipse is, the different types of solar eclipses, why everybody, at least in North America, is freaking out about the April 8th solar eclipse and how you can participate as well. Remember, get solar eclipse glasses, please don't burn your eyes. Um, a solar eclipse is a really cool astronomical event to observe because it is like an easy way to see that there is stuff going on in outer space and it's actually happening and we can witness it here on earth you don't need a telescope you don't need to go into space to see it the sun is literally going to disappear for a couple of minutes behind the moon uh because all these objects are moving in space and that is so cool or at least it's cool to me hopefully it's cool to some of you guys as well uh, another cool thing about solar eclipses leads me into my fun fact for today's video which is certain scientific data can only be taken during a solar eclipse when the sun's brightness has been dimmed and other parts of the sun's atmosphere can be seen. And this is actually how we discovered the elements hydrogen and helium while viewing the sun during a solar eclipse. So please be sure to rate that fun fact in the comments below. Like this video, share it with your friends, get prepared for the solar eclipse. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram. Yeah, tell all of your friends again, prepare for the solar eclipse, don't burn your eyes on on April 8th, and keep it sciencey!